How's it going everyone? My name is Nori Plays and welcome back to the 100 day drawing challenge. As you can see, things are a bit different because today we're trying out one of these. And if you don't know what one of these are, these are really damn special. This is a Pentel brush pen. It just arrived today. I couldn't really show you the unboxing. <laughs> My fingers are all covered in ink already. But yeah, um, I'm, I'm, today we're going to be trying this out. So I need to change camera angles for that of course. So. Let's try that right now. Okay, and we're back. So, as you can see, I've got my pen here. Uh, I, might, I might crop the video. I don't know how I'm going to do this fully, but we're back on traditional. Yay! Yay! As you can see, I've kind of tried the, <laughs> the pen already. I was just writing a bunch of brothers on the page. Okay, but yeah, let's scroll through. So, I'm going to show you guys some of my by stuff I've been doing. And we're gonna be inking some of them with this. With this little gem right here. This gem of a pen. The thing with this pen is... Okay, here's, here's a piece I did with it just now. Like when the pen arrived. The thing with the pen is it's kind of dry. As you can see, once I put a stroke down. Just anywhere, it's kind of dry. So you need... To either pump more ink into it or something, I don't know. All of you Pento enthusiasts, shout down in the comments below. Tell me if I'm doing this right or wrong, because I don't know. I've never, again, I've never used one of these until now. So... Uh, this I did with a hoo hoo markers. Uh, that I gave to one of my sisters for Christmas. So, she let me, she let me use one. Uh, again. But you can see they like, they bleed through the paper like crazy because the paper's not thick enough, so that's kind of rough. Okay, here we go. So, again, more of the head studies we did on the channel, but this time I just added shading and tone to them. These are some of my proudest ones. Okay, so let's ink some of these. I feel like I want to ink some of these. I'm scared to ink them because I'm terrible with this pen still, but you got to make mistakes in order to make better art. So to get ink flowing through this thing, you basically to squeeze like the side bit, like really gently. And then you can see the ink kind of flowing. So if you hold it, we can get the ink flowing through the pen like this. And as you can see, it's kind of blobbing out the sides. <laughs> it's just full. It doesn't need anything else. And then kind of dry it off a little bit. Okay, let's use this thing. I'm kind of excited to use this thing. So I'm going to start with this one first. Just inking it. Like this. It's really cool because you can control the width of your lines like hella, like that, like a lot. You want thick, you can go thick. If you want thin, you can go thin. See, like you can, you can have so much range with your lines. It's kind of insane. <laughs> and because of that, you can just do an infinite amount of detail, technically. So then we do the eyes. I heavily recommend these pens, honestly, because the earlier you get started with these, the better. You can see, like, my eyes and stuff already have a lot of line weight to them. We'll do the nose as well. Make sure the ink is flowing. And then that would be the nose, and then let's do the other eye. I just like how quickly you can control the thickness of your lines with these. So you can even layer on the ink, if you wanted to. And 
go like this and then I'll do the eyebrow like this you can just uh, and for record I have the medium sized one so basically it's the default one there's also an extra thin one and an extra thick one but this is just medium and this is a a Fuda Fuda pencil brush pen I think that's what it's called I absolutely love how thick and thin you can go with these. So far, I mean, wow. <laughs> I also don't really know how to record these traditional videos because they're just... I don't have any extra cameras for any different point of views, so this is the best you're gonna get. And I don't know if it's good enough for all of you. So let me know if the quality is poo poo in the comments. And I guess I can try to sort something out. Don't guarantee it though. Again, I feel like my hand's just gonna block a lot of this, but... Believe me when I say that these pens are just... Incredible. At... At what they do. These are actually, um... Just as a fun fact, these are actually... Made to be calligraphy pens for Japanese calligraphers because of if you've ever seen Japanese calligraphy you would know that they they do use a lot of like if I had to use this page they do a lot of like Hua! and you really get the texture on these you can really layer on their ink like this and then get really expressive with like the symbols a lot of artists lately have started using these for drawing, and the cool thing is, again, for these for drawing is you get that texture, and you get that extra varied line width that you can do with your pieces, and it's super awesome. It's just, again, because I'm still new to this pen, I'm still trying to figure out how I can control it a bit better so that my lines are less shaky. Because right now my lines are hella shaky. Uh, so you, it's definitely a learning curve when you first get one of these. Again, you can see how like I'm adding shadow and stuff already just by applying more pressure different areas compared to others kind of like so and, then, and that's again what these pens are just really good for they shine through with that It's kind of like a taster of <laughs> what I'm trying out here with these with this pen in particular. I actually got it from Amazon for about like ten pounds. If you know how much ten pounds is, um, it was like nine pounds something, nine pound eight even. And goddamn, so far, I'd recommend the hell out of these to anyone wanting to start. Kind of like inking things out. I 
Like, just look at how interesting your lines become by using this thing. You can treat it like a regular fine liner, which is cool because you can just keep layering it on if you wanted to. Or if you have enough control, you can also just do it in one stroke like this. It doesn't matter, which is super sick. And I can already notice, like, my lines getting more and more expressive with this just by getting the tool. But I definitely recommend, if you're a new beginner artist, to first learn how to draw using basic tools like a pencil, because otherwise you won't get this look, if you know what I mean. You need a lot of practice. to get this kind of stuff down first and have an idea of what you want to draw okay so let's move on to let me think actually I haven't finished this character yet hold on I wanted a really fine line where I can do that Kind of like this. It's super cool. Honestly, man. It's, it, this might be my favorite pen I've ever used. Like, hands down. And I've used a lot of different pens. I've used Stadler's. I've used... Uh, Uniball pens. I've used Copic pens before. If you know what those are. And honestly, this is just, like, the jack of all trades for me that I'm probably gonna keep using. And the cool thing is these are refillable, so you can actually unscrew this bit and just buy fillers for this stuff. This is really awesome. Okay, so let's do this one now, the bottom left one. Also, another fun thing I want to talk about is how interesting this pen is in general, because I've never used, like, a traditional Japanese ink pen. And I didn't know how the hell you get ink into this thing, because when you first get it, the, the brush tip is white and not filled with ink. You actually have to squeeze, like I said before, you have to squeeze the sides of the pen to get the ink flowing. But... If you have the red ring around it, there's like a protective plastic red ring. If you don't take that off, the ink won't flow. Which is really awesome uh, how this is all fought out for this thing. And the ink... I don't know if it shows well on camera. But the ink is very dark, actually. I didn't expect the ink to be this dark. Like, compared to my... Uniball fine liners. This is way darker. And I love it. I love it for that. Okay, so as you can see, my brush lines are getting drier and drier. So what you have to do is just squeeze in some more ink to get it flowing. Like so. And now. Look at this, your lines are back to being fine again. One thing I'll say is, it's pretty damn difficult to draw circles of these because it is a brush, right? So unless you're experienced with a brush, as well is that drawing like just regular dots or circles will be 
quite the challenge. Let me tell you what. <laughs> I'm struggling right now. Like, a lot. It's super cool how you can use this also like a... Like a pencil? Kind of like a pencil, I wanna say. Because you can do really scratchy lines with this. I mean, you can kind of do that. Oh, I dropped it. No, uh, that's really cool though, I guess. We now have like a random piece of texture on the page. It will definitely also take me a while before I get confident with this thing. Again, look how dry the lines are, so I'm gonna dabble a bit more ink into this thing to get those blacks out of there. Get out of there. I just absolutely love this pen. I mean, what can I tell you? Just Ridiculous. And and this is not a paid video by any chance, by any means as well. This is literally, I bought this pen, they didn't send it to me, and I just kind of wanted to show it off to all of you. And man, is this thing epic. So look at this, I can like patch in a bunch of tones if I wanted to. And the texture's like super dope. Cause you can lay in exactly where you want your shadows and light to go with this thing. That's what makes it so damn cool. And then you can combine like thinner lines with thicker lines with blocks of black. I freaking love this. Okay, let's do another one. Actually, you know what? Yeah, no, let's do this one as well. Before we move on to a different page, because I there is one I want to do specifically just to see. Yeah, so this one, for example, this drawing has a lot of single strands of hair, which are not easy to draw. And boy, let me tell you, once the ink is flowing, it's flowing. Like, this thing, it just doesn't stop flowing once you have the pen down on the paper. It's super cool. Again, I can just build up these hairs with these rough shapes here. Kinda like that. And that's okay. I can also build up tone in places I wanna build up tone. Like for example in here. Mix that in with a few hairs. And that's also fine. See, like, it's just such a good tool. I cannot promote this thing enough, because...
It's super clean. Okay, so the piece I wanted to try the most was not this because this was random ass figure drawing, but this little free run piece right here. I didn't realize I moved the book away until now, but there we go. I'm going to try ink this as best as I can. Let's just go ahead and start, I guess. And there you have it. That is a little guide a summary video of the pencil brush pen. This is, I'm going to be using this thing a lot in my spare time, like for sure. I don't know how often I'm going to record these traditional videos, but I will be inclined to record these more often. <laughs> Because of this pen. This pen is ridiculously good. And I'm glad I got it. I'm so glad. So some more information about this before I end off the video. This is a water-based ink brush pen. Which as you can see. Unlike the hoo, hoo markers. This doesn't bleed through the paper. It's just regular. Like. I want to say regular pen ink. But this is ink unlike I've seen before. Uh, I've never used ink of this quality. I think the only time I used ink of this quality was somewhere around like when I was at school still working on my my projects um, on my final project I had like a bottle of black jet black ink that I used for my final piece with a bunch of sticks. Whatever, I'm yapping. This pen's awesome. I can't wait to use it more often. Uh, and do more of these videos, honestly, because these... This will get me all excited. It'll get me wanting to draw like this a lot more. Yeah, if you guys enjoyed, as always, smash the like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you're new. But apart from that, Boom, case closed, and I will see all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.